Yo, hello everyone, and welcome back to a brand new video. In this video, I will be showing you how to send bug emails enforcedly using MailChimp in 2023. Discover the art of efficient email communication and reach your audience with just a few clicks. So let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. So. Firstly guys, before we get started with this video, you have to actually have an account on MailChimp. It is very easy to create one. You can even join using your Gmail account, Facebook, or any other accounts. So now, once you have created your account and you want to send a bulk email, first of all, what is a bulk email? Bulk email is simply when you try, for example, let's go to my uh, Gmail account as an example. And let's try to send an email to anyone. So compose. And here, for example, I'm going to send it to uh, Facebook. I don't know, at gmail.com. And here I'm going to send the subject. Well, now the email that I'm going to send is actually going to be sent to one person. Uh, I can't really keep adding people here. So Facebook at gmail.com, Twitter at gmail.com, and keep adding them manually. But this process can take a hell of an amount of time for you to do so. And the email can be interrupted and not be sent to each one of these guys. So this is bulk email. Basically bulk email is an email that is sent to a large group of recipients at once. Bulk emails are usually used in marketing campaigns to promote a business or product. Unlike spam, bulk emails are sent to people who have signed up to receive marketing messages from a company so this email that you are going to get from signed up uh, from people that are your visitor or your clients they are going to be saved for you in a sheet uh, excel sheet or google sheet then press it in a zip file and they will going to be your contacts so they are going to be the contact that you are going to import as email addresses that you're going to be sending to these addresses the bulk email that you are talking about about this video so to get started is simply click on create and then we are going to click on email and then i'm going to, for example to choose um, a regular email here what you are going to do is create an email and here put the internal email name so for example marketing for t-shirt here we go begin and here, what you're going to do is add recipient. So import contacts. And here you have to import your contacts. You can import them from another service. As you can see here, you can upload the file, which is a TXT file and copy and paste. So let's do this. Click on continue. And here, for example, I'm going to add the email address. So as you can see here, for example, um, like, Lolly lop, lop, lop extra dot com or gmail.com and continue to organize. So let's check how it's going to work. Select the status, subscribe, update an existing contact, continue to tag. Here, search for or create tags. You can create your own tags. You can choose from popular posts or tags. So let's choose these ones. Continue to match. So here we go, finalize imports, and the contact that I have submitted has been successfully imported. Now complete import, and now we have successfully contacted uh, or imported one of our contacts. So here we have went from zero contacts to one new contact. Now let's click on return to campaign creation. And here we go, we have now added recipients. Of course, this is not a bulk email since I have only two recipients, since I don't really have a big amount of contact to send them this email to. But for you guys, all you have to do is import your large amount of emails that you have of your clients and visitors, and then add them to here. So here are is from, so which email is gonna be sent this email from? So this is my email. I'm going to send all of these emails uh, all of these emails from my main email here we can add the subject so 
you can add a subject add like a template into it a design etc so for example marketing for t-shirt then click on save here the context where we are going to choose a design so i'm going to choose this apply save and exit you have to change all of these details by your own to match your products or your business Add uh, required referral badge, your email footer, remove badges, etc. etc. So enable social cards. Here we go. Next, 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 next. And then I'm going to click on exit. Save and close. And complete social card. So here, um, let's go back. Uh, let's do this, etc. Pinterest. Okay, everything saved. So let's click here for now or can simply just remove it and then once you feel like you're done you can simply click on send so here we click on this button which is over here and this email will be sent to that person and here you can see the preview of the email that you have created you can also send a test email to uh, a private email that you own for example let's send it to this account here we go send test Okay, and then let's get, check our Gmail. And here it is. So we have received an email from MailChimp successfully, which is our test email. It is successfully working and we don't have any problem. Now, for you guys to actually fix any problem that you have, for example, here, there is some problems here. Let's check them. So here, for this to be removed, I have to upgrade my account which is to pay a plan in MailChimp. Uh, here also recommended settings a default logo to make sure all your emails are branded. So here you have to add a logo for yourself. If you kept it as this one, you will not be able to send an email. Here you have to send your email, remove or replace the placeholder content. So it can be original from you. So you have to change this, change the image and change the footer. And just like that, you'll have everything for you ready to go. And you can send your bulk emails to the contacts that you have. And of course, don't forget guys, that to add your social media into here, which is your logos here, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, what you have to do is keep contacting, uh, connecting each one of them. So I click here, connect your Facebook, then go to Twitter, and then go to Instagram. And just like that, they will be linked. And people, once they get to this, email and click on one of them they will be directed to your social media account and obviously you will get people to know you more than there is that now and that was simply it thank you guys a lot for watching this video if you have any more questions make sure to leave them down below in the comment section i will answer all of your questions thanks a lot guys and see you in the next tutorial